Use the graph to determine the limit. If an answer does not exist, enter D and E. So various limits to compute. So first we have to compute the limit as X approaches C from the right. So the plus sign means we're approaching from the right. So C here is four. So as X approaches four from the right, uh, it looks like the Y value is going to be three, right? It gets really, really close to three. So the answer is three. As X approaches four uh, from the left, the Y value also gets close to uh, three. So the answer is again, three. And since they're both the same, you get three both times, the regular limit is three. So whenever you get the answer from the right to be three and from the left to be three, since they're the same number, the answer is three. If these numbers were different, um, like if we had gotten like three and seven, then it would be D and E for the third part. But since they're the same number, the answer is also the same number. Um, okay, is the function continuous at x equals four? Uh, yes, and here's two explanations. The first is if you look at the graph, you can draw it without picking up your pen or pencil. There's no holes or breaks. It's nice and it's a continuous graph. It doesn't break. Uh, the second reason is if you think about the definition of continuity, it says that the limit as x approaches c of f of x uh, is equal to f of c. So in this case, it's equal to 3. f of c is the y value at c. So the y value at 4 is equal to 3. So the actual function value at 4 is equal to 3, and that's equal to the limit, right? I'll type it so you see it. This is equal to f of c, right? That's the definition of continuity, that one statement right there. Um, implies all of the other conditions in the definition. So in this case, f of c is 3. But again, you can just look at the graph, and there's no holes or breaks, so um, everything is good, and it's continuous. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.